to the architecture for the new 11.1.1.1, you are, you are given, you, it comes with two options, basically. And the standard BI apps uh, with ODI, and then the second option, which is, our, is the golden gate uh, packed with a source-dependent data store, which will help you optimize your ETL loads and also reduce impact on the old OLTP system. This slide uh, shows us the logical architecture. So basically, what are the components in this architecture? So you have your web logic, which is 10.3.6. 10 you have OBIE 11.1.1.7.0. Uh, one thing to note here, it is OBIE can be only deployed on 64-bit platform. It cannot be deployed on 32-bit. The ODI version is 11.1.1.7.0. And the optional component, which is the golden gate, that is 11.2.1.01. Uh, for indirect spend planning, if you're planning to deploy that, then you need to also deploy the SOA component or the SOA suit, which is 11.1.1.7.0. Uh, the BI applications comes with its own set of patches that need, uh, that need to be mandatorily deployed for each component for the web logic, OBI, ODI, golden gate, etc. So now quickly looking at the client layer on this, at the top of the slide, you'll see that all, all tools like the BI Configuration Manager or the Functional Setup Manager or the ODI Studio, uh, they all can be accessed through web browser. The OBI admin tool needs to be, is a desktop client and needs to be deployed on a desktop to uh, make uh, any kind of modifications or changes to your OBI metadata. So the ODI, the ODI component uh, gets deployed with the WebLogic server. It gets deployed in the, within the BI domain, but it has its own managed services. The Config Manager, the Functional Setup Manager, they are deployed within the BI domain and under the BI managed services. For BI apps uh, repository, a specific plugin is required for the load orchestration. And that requires a special ODI SDK, which also gets deployed as part of the ODI installation in the BI domain. A quick look at the physical layer where you have your databases, and you'd find that now it comes with a number of repositories, including your OBI metadata repository, uh, the RCU, basically. Uh, and then it has the metadata repository for ODI, the master and work repository. Then it has a repository for your BI apps components, basically your config manager and functional setup manager. Uh, any changes or any configurations that are being done there are captured in this or stored in this particular repository. We'll discuss more about the Golden Gate with the SDS option uh, later during the session. Uh, I'll not go through that, that piece of uh, architecture right now. So the takeaways from this section is that you have a golden gate with a source-dependent data store or SDS as, as an optional component. It is tightly integrated with the Fusion middleware. And currently, it is only supported on Oracle databases. The source, the targets, and the repositories, the individual repositories for BI applications, all need to be deployed on the Oracle database only. <laughs>